Hey boardies, welcome to Amass Games, my name is Simon and today I'm going to tell you all about the game Gorani Dash Spiel. It's a 1 to 3 player game, age of 9 plus, and takes 10 to 30 minutes by Brambus Spielverlag, which I got over in Germany. And as you can see, it's in German, so not in English. Now, you may have seen a bunch of other videos for this for Board Game Arena. It is one of my most played games. This is a game that I really, really enjoyed playing online. I found it very straightforward to play, quite a big box, obviously, for what it is, especially when you see what's inside it. It's a bit Sudoku-like to a degree, and uh, there's a numerous things in here which you can sort of play around with. Uh, these stickers, you've got various mats, and it's an abstract strategy combinatorial two-player game. So there are various, obviously, fish that you can play with, as you can see, different sizes. And we want to play with probably this one, which should be 16 uh, triangles. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Good. So we're going to just, I tend to stick just the small one. So this is a game whereby you are looking to get the most points. It's a game, and this looks like, looks like another massive one as well. You are looking to uh, score the highest amount of points in a specific line. So for example, down here. And as you can see, you've got a little, some stickiness to do. You've got a bag here, which you might want to stick all your stuff back in. You've got a rule book here. I didn't realize this was open or not open. As you can see, it's purely in German, but hello, I'm speaking English and hopefully this will make sense. You've got various pieces. These are your fish, lovely little fish pieces. And I said the implementation is really good. That is just for scoring, okay? You have these lovely wooden pieces as well. So if you are interested in seeing more videos like this, you can check out obviously the whole channel which you can subscribe to as well to see more videos. Uh, there's loads more videos coming, over 50. You can also um, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. You can hit the like button, showing you're enjoying this content. You can also do various other things. You can go to Patreon to support, It'd be fantastic. You can also go to Instagram to see daily played pictures. You can go to uh, Facebook as well, where you can comment and communicate. You can comment here. You can obviously check out that description for more information in YouTube. There are other options as well. Uh, there's obviously playlists. Obviously there's two player playlists. There's abstract strategy playlists. There's board game arena playlists. And this is kind of gonna go into the, uh, into the unboxing preview overview trailer. And that's because as you can see, some of the parts of the game isn't completely set up. So what do you do in this game? Well, let me give you a quick overview, as I said I would. So you are going to take a piece and you're gonna have three of each thing, depending on which, uh, which gameplay you're playing. So this is with 16 boards, and you're gonna have two, uh, sorry, three of these number two pieces. You're gonna have three of the number three pieces and three of the number one pieces. And on your turn, you're gonna play one of them. And if you are playing against someone else, then what they're gonna to have to do is they're going to have to ensure that uh, they are not having something adjacent. So if I played a three and I happen to have a three as an opponent's piece, I can't go next to you. So if I have a three here, that is a legal move. That is an illegal move. I'm going to have to go further away. But then on my turn, I can go, oh, I'm going to go in the gap. And the reason why going in the gap is important, as I'll show you. So let's just say I did this instead. And now if I happen to play a one, I'm surrounding you, okay, on both sides. So I flip it, and what I do is I flip it to be the other side up. So that is going to have actually going to have three on the other side. So that is going to have on the reverse side. It's going to have a three. So then it's going to flip, and suddenly I'm controlling more area. So that's the kind of thing you have to be aware of, which is very interesting. That is pretty much how the game plays until eventually you cannot go, and then you can use your fish to decide how many points you scored in each one area, and that is basically how the game progresses. If you want to see a playthrough, I'm sure I can get that arranged. Then by all means, I'd love to show you that as well. And it's all about, you know, when to place, where to place. Do you hold back on something? What happens if you run out of a certain uh, color or sorry, a certain number? That's very important to be aware of. And of course, it's very tricky. So lots of uh, lots of fun in this game. I think it's very quick to play, very easy to teach. Hopefully that was easy enough to, to explain to you. And yeah, hopefully you'll find it's something you'd like to try and pick up and play. By all means, I look forward to playing it, obviously, uh, in person, as playing online, I think, can just uh, wear out your eyes. But I have played this over 50 times in a day before. In fact, I got banned from Board Game, Geek, uh, Board Game Arena because they thought I was playing against myself and uh, trying to inflate my score, which it didn't do that. So, um, and I lost my case, even though they didn't ban me, thankfully, especially as I kind of supposedly collaborate with them. 
so this is how the game works. As I said, it's it's very nice to play. You've got a little cloth bagging and stuff uh, stuff back into. And yeah, I look forward to you to obviously seeing how it plays out. Any other questions, please let me know. I'll do this obviously off shot. Um, but yeah, if you want to watch me continue to do these things, by all means. So we have a three. We have a three and a three. We have a three and a three. So that's done. Uh, we've got some more threes to do. So where's the other three gone? There's another three here. So there's the three. And we need to put a three on the other side. Do I prefer playing it? I do prefer playing it at the lower count as well. My rating is uh, is an eight out of 10. I think it's also such a lovely game. So we've got a three there completed. So we've got one of those there done. I'm gonna take another one. The only thing I can see as a downside playing it in person is the fact that you've then got to flip your pieces over and to make sure you don't flip it over again so you know who's got what piece. So that's the only downside. The advantage of doing it this way though is so you don't have to then manually switch something over, which makes a lot of sense. The first time I played it, by the way, I actually scored a seven out to three and the guy I played against had a good rating and he wouldn't play me again because he thought I was too good, which goes to show you how uh, some people are. Oh dear, I did that one wrong. That's not good at all. So I might have to try and, oh dear, I might ruin that one. Uh, luckily, we have enough pieces, so keep on going. But yeah, nice wooden pieces here. It's also gonna be uh, played in Abstract Nation. So hello everyone from Abstract Nation. I hope you're enjoying this video as well and uh, enjoying obviously watching everything else I do. So there's the threes done. Uh, we've got the, got the ones done. So there's a one there, we've got a one there, got one there. We've got a blue one. So maybe I've got some spare baggies and I'm actually gonna give a baggie for each individual person as well. So you can have the blue team just so that you have exactly equal amounts of things. Right, it hasn't taken too long to do this. All right, so there's a one. Oh, just about enough. One and a one. Okay, one and a one, not distracted, thankfully. Final one. Ooh, such a quick game. Right, there's the ones done, and now we need the twos. So that's a two and a two. I need another two. Oh, that is sticky, good. And the other ones I might even leave unstuck. So I've no real interest in playing anything other than this fantastic, quick 16 player board, which of course means you can keep playing it lots of times. A two and a two. Okay, so that's that done. And then we're at uh, almost eight minutes with the final one, which is the two, two, and two. Four, yellow. I think just maybe people just grabbing a number each is enough. Two, two, what was that? That's a blue two. Okay, and then the final two. There we are. Okay, I think that looks very nice. Okay, so this is gonna go away. And uh, that's gonna go away too. So we've got all these counters, so we've got Six, nine, twelve, uh, yeah, eighteen, and then we've probably got another two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, two, four, six, eight, twenty nine pieces, twenty one spare pieces, right. So I think those can go in there. Oh, not sure what that big bag is going to be used for. I'm going to stick them in there and then the leftover one we'll put away. Of course, because they're round, they are going to be a bit tricky and they don't roll around. So that is something to be aware of. Let's get rid of that piece and that spare piece. Okay, the die again you don't need for the base game, so we can chuck that away. And for this kind of video, I guess watching it on double speed is absolutely fine. All right, so that has been the game Gorami Das Spiel. Thanks so much for watching.